Southern Chevy TV. We're finna start doing the body work on. What's her name? Mamba. Mamba. We're gonna start doing the body work on them. So we gonna guess pull it out. Start taking everything apart. Once we get it out, I'll give you a walk around for us finding all the dents and dings. Three days later. This is actually three days later after I said I was going to take the MCI side and start doing the body work and taking everything off. Me and Southern Chevy TV, we started spraying some speed shape, so that put us behind. He had to go ahead, head back home. So I'm by myself now. And I started thinking I need to go ahead and take care. You can see this gap here. It's a larger gap at the top and this bottom. It's almost touching, so I'm gonna have to address this issue before I start painting on it. Because if I leave it like this, it's just gonna keep building up the paint. Then the door gonna screw up the fender. And we're thinking it's the bushings and the core support. We got new bushings here. And I think that I'm, I'm gonna tackle that first. So I guess I'll take the front clip off. That'd be my first task. I finally got this front clip off. I didn't know uh, the fasteners was rusted out on a lot of them. This one here snapped off. And these bottom ones I had to cut off because it was rusted. Now I guess I take the hood off, then I take the funnels off after that. And I probably, once I take these off, I might do the body work on them with them off the car instead of trying to put them back on, then do the body work. Finally got the front end off. Front clip. I got the funders out here. I believe that's what I'm gonna do. Just concentrate on this front end for us to buy the work. And I might even just do the jams, spray the jams before I put everything back together. Let me get everything inside, then we'll get started. After looking over these fenders here, you can see this lip that hold the inner fender wheels. It's ate up and rusted out. I got some more here. The lip good, so I'm going to use these. The only bad spot is this area here. But I can fiberglass that, get rid of the rust, and fiberglass it. But the rest of it should be good. Also on these, this screw that holds the core support on, it was cut off from both of them, so it's good here. And what else on these fenders? You can see on this one also ate up. So I'm thinking it'll be best to just use these, just do the body work on them. Be a lot quicker 
Plus, I ain't gotta worry about this lip. Not having that lip. Which we did. We started on the body work on these a couple of months back. But I'm gonna take all this back down to brown metal. Because we didn't take it down to brown metal. And I don't want my paint to start reacting. So I'm gonna take it down to brown metal, be on the safe side. And on this front clip, I done took this spoil off. It's a crack here that I gotta address. But that should be it on this. So let me clean everything up, then we'll get started taking this down to bare metal and sanding everything else. Once I got it cleaned up, I had took some 80 grit on my DA just to see how much paint I got on here, primer or whatever all this is. I know we sprayed some primer on top of some primer, but I was just trying to see how far I got to go to get it down to bare metal. And it looks like it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven layers. And I was just gonna use the DA to get it all off, but I think it'll be much faster if I use some paint remover. I'm just gonna scuff it up, well scratch it up so the paint remover could soak down into it. It worked a lot better. I'll be using this goof off here. chip brush also cut me a piece of plastic so I can put over it once I spread it on keep it wet longer like that Gonna let this plastic sit on here so that paint remover can start working. You can see it start coming up right here. Now I'm just gonna remove the plastic and start scraping the prime up. Might take three or four coats of uh, paint remover to get it all up. Just a process you gotta go through. Like if you stress it up like this, it'll work a lot better because it'll soak in there. That's what I said. I was gonna sand it first. Body fill it up. Let me finish it on up and I'll cut it back on. This would look like after the first wipe of uh, paint removal. You can see where I stretched up the areas that weren't coming up. It should come up a lot easier next round. What I got here, I got some Forti grit on my DA, and I'm just taking it, cleaning the metal on off because it done started surface rusting. It was sitting out overnight and it rained. You can see here, I done done this part with the Forti grit. Still got to do this top section. You can see here, I did this with 80 grit. This Forti grit, you can see the. For the great pigtails. Both fillers down the brown metal. But before I move any further, I'm gonna tackle this area here. 
It looked like somebody tried to drill it out. I'm not exactly sure what this spot for. Because on this spinner here, there's not no opening like this. Let me show you. It's not no opening like that. But on the funnels that I took off, it's an opening on that side. Let me show you right here on this one. So I'm just going to form that back up just in case it's for something that I don't know about. But I'm not sure what it's made for. But I'm just going to leave that. Let me show you. I just drew this out. So that opening need to be somewhere there. I'm gonna cut this out here. Then I fiberglass the rest of it and finish cutting it on out. That area cut out. Now I take some mask and tape. And tape up this back side, then I store fiberglass in it in. See, I got my tape on the back side. Then on this piece here, I just used the cardboard I had cut out, wrap some tape around it, just so I can have my shape. Then I take me some fiberglass filler, some bundle hair, long strand, reinforced fiberglass filler, and I just wipe some down up in here to fill that board up and once I do that I'll come back and get some fiberglass mat got some here just lay on top of it to strengthen it up fiberglass filler once this is dry I remove the middle piece and start shaping it up It's pretty much shaped up now. I still got to go back and put some regular body fill up in here. Kind of smooth it out. But before I do that, I'm going to take this front clip outside and start sanding on it. And I'm going to use some 180 because you can see these cracks here and there. Plus the clear coat filling. So I'm going to use 180 on it. Then we'll move on to the next step. Here's a look at the front clip. You can see the spider web and the cracks along here. Also, I'm going to have to remove the decal. I'm not sure what's going to be the best method of removing it for us. If I could use the heat gun here, it would be a lot better than using sandpaper. Because it just keep on clogging up the sandpaper. So I'm going to try the heat gun first, but I'm pretty sure it's going to start coming off in sections because it's cracked up but we'll see on that Just finished up with all the sanding as far as the front clip. I did this area up in here with a scotch brite, maroon scotch brite. And I'm going to fill these holes here. It's a small imperfection here and here. But other than that, Everything else look good. Oh, I got this spot that's cracked right here that I got to repair. Wish that spoiler piece go over this, but I still want to strengthen it up. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open it up some right here. Then I'm going to fiberglass the back side with mat. And I'll come back and fill this when I start filling everything else. Here's the back side of the repair. I put two layers of fiberglass mat on it. Once it hardened up, I flip it over and fill the front side just with body filler. This is where I open up the crack at. While this fiberglass mat drying here, 
I put a heat up on that, trying to speed up the process. I jump over here on this hood, so I won't be wasting time. Start sanding it down. The first time I find all my spots I need to repair, I just got a red sharpen. I mark those before I start sanding on it because once once you start sanding, you're gonna do the surface off. It's kind of hard to find the areas that need to be repaired. It's a spot here need to be knocked down. Let me see if I can catch it in the camera. I doubt if I can, but it's sticking up here. This a low area here. It's kind of hard to see it in the camera. I think I done marked all my low areas and high spots. Just the one high spot and the rest on the low. And on the low areas, I put some 80 grit on my DA. I'm just going to rough that area up so the body filler has something to burn to. I know I'm going to find more once I prime it. Because I'm going to shoot some epoxy primer on the first, then I'm going to shoot some high build on the top head. But I'm just trying to get all my areas that I know that I can see now. But once I prime it, I know I'll find more. I'm going to do that on this hood. Also on the fenders. And I'm going to fill those areas here. On the front clip. I think I got it tapped down far enough. Now I take my DA and hit this with the 80 grit. Just like I did these spots here. Can't really tell. But they dulled off. I know where to wipe the fill at though. I don't know if you can sand it through, like I'm sanding it through the camera spot here. Here's my areas that I wipe with the body filler. I got to mix up some more so I can finish up over here. This the top side of this crack that I repaired. This is what I was talking about. I had opened it up so the filler has something to actually burn to. Because if I wouldn't have, it would have just been a crack and I wouldn't have had nothing to put the filler in. I'm also going to fill these holes up here. Everything filled that need to be filled for us to fill it in the five glass filler. Now I'm going to take my straight line sander, just knock everything down, try to get as smooth as I can. Still got the 40 grit on it. Before I hit it with the straight line sander, I got some 40 grit on the DA. Just to knock it down, it goes a lot faster. Once you knock it down and feather it, you can hit it with the straight line, flatten it out. Let me show you right here. Keep it flat just to knock it down. It's somewhat feather edge. Now I can hit it with the straight line sounder. This here, everything with the DA, 40 grit on the DA. If you keep the DA flat, you'll still be able to tell what's low. Like this area here is still low. The reason why I stopped because I still getting down to the middle here. That's a high spot. So I can go back and feel this. In this spot here, also here, it's the dark area, it's still low, I got some spots over here also, this area here still low, 
that area. That area there. Also, right here. I'm going to go back and fill those areas. Then I hit it with the straight line and block it. Then I'll be good to go. Move to the next step. Right now I'm just trying to shape this opening up. I just got a stir stick with some sandpaper wrapped around it. I hit everything with the straight line sounder on all the panels. Now, I'm going to take my DA everywhere I didn't sand earlier. I'm going to go back and hit that with 80 grit. All the shiny areas. Also around here, because I got some chips up in here. So I'm going to sand that down to bare metal. The chip there. Just finished blowing everything off. Got the stage stuff ready to shoot my epoxy primer. But before I do that, I'm going to wipe everything down.
epoxy primer. I put one coat on the hood and two coats on the fenders and the front clip. Now I'm going to shoot some hot bill on top of this because if I just start trying to sand this epoxy, it will be pretty much impossible because it just keep gumming up my sandpaper. So I'm going to put at least two coats of hot bill on this so I can start blocking it. So the high bill primer plus the epoxy primer up under it. Now I can see pretty much all my imperfections. I got a spot here. I'm going to fill with some glazing putty before I start blocking it. Everywhere that I see now, I'm going to fill. But it's looking good. Also over here, let me show you. It's a ding here. And I got a push out right here. So I'm gonna have to take the body hammer and knock that in. Wipe some fill on it. And on this front clip, I still got a few spider webbing that I'm gonna have to take care of. A lot of it could be blocked out. I don't know if you're seeing it. Yeah, pretty much all this can be blocked out though. Got some imperfection going on here. What is the spot? This area here. I'm gonna have to fill this area that can be blocked. Still can see my holes that I feel. I'm thinking that can be blocked also out. Right here. But I'm just going to go over it. Let's see. I have to fill this area here with some glaze and put it. I'm just going to go over everything and fill it. Then I'll cut you back on once I get done. Well, let me show you what the glaze and put I'm going to use. I just use this dolphin glaze. Wipe a skim coat on it. Then I'll be good. All the areas that I'm going to wipe with glazing putty, I just took some 180 and just went over the top of the spot that I'm going to wipe just to get a fill of something to burn too. It'll burn a lot better scuffing it up. Like here. Let me show you over here. And this the push out I was talking about here. 
and just take my body hammer, this in here, and just knock it down. I'm thinking I knocked it down far enough. If not, we'll find out once we put the filler on and start blocking it. Oh, my hair is white. Now it's time to find my spots that I don't see with the naked eye. And what we're going to use, we're going to use some flat black spray paint. Just spray some guide coat on it. So when we start blocking, it shows all our low areas. I'm just going to lightly mist it on. Since the guide coat done dried, we'll start blocking. You can see where I put some glaze and put it here with a crack. And some spots here now. But let me take you over here. Show you what I'm gonna be using. I got different size blocks. It's best to use the biggest block you can. You want to use the block the size of the repair area. But something like this here, you want to use a large block because it's a large area. I got different, see I got a round block here. This would be good for when I start blocking this here. Because it got like a curve, that would be good for that. And I'm going to be using 180. Got some 180 grit by Evercoat. Also got some 150. Got another block here. Probably won't use it. I haven't even used it yet. But we're gonna start out with this one here. Block this repair area here. Block it down. Then we'll probably move to the larger one just to hit this big surface. You just want to go in the X pattern back and forth. What we're going to be trying to do is remove the guide coat. That's what we just sprayed on. It's going to show us all our low areas. Once it's removed and you see nothing but gray primer, you're good to go. See right off the top we can see a high area. This here. All the guide coat removed. Around up in here, still low, so we got to keep blocking. Once we reach metal, we're going to have to stop and feel. Let me just show you the results. This area that had the glazing putty is blocked down. This was the area that I said that was high. And the reason how you can tell because I done got down to the original white paint. And around here, that's the epoxy primer. That's the high bed of the gray. Right here was somewhat high. This area here was low. You still can see the guide coat. Also here, it's a low area. So I can block this down some more to get this out. Finish sanding the one half of the hood. Now you can see all my high spots and low areas. Those was high spots, but I done blocked them smooth, so these are good to go. But I got some low areas I gotta address, like here. 
I got to feel that area, this area here, because I started hitting metal right here, so I can't block it no more. Also up in here, I hit metal there. I might just knock this down some and feel it when I feel these two spots. Also here is low. Over here, low, low. I also jumped over here and started doing the fenders. This low here. That's low. Front clip. I done bought the round block out just, just so I can get this area here. I'm just jumping around. This low, low. I'm going to have to wipe this whole area here because it's low. Finally finished all the blocking. I done made a mess out here, but I got it done. I had to go back and lay some fill on some of the areas that were still low. Like up in here. Now I take my blow holes and blow all the dust off and wipe it back down. Then I'll be ready to shoot my final prime. Wipe down. Before I shoot the whole panel, I usually spot prime my spots that I repair it. Like here. But since I cut through and I got bare metal showing on some of the errands, I'm going to spot prime with some epoxy. I'm just gonna shoot some epoxy over my areas I repair it plus the bright metal. Then I go with the high bill on top of it. up too much so I went on and sprayed everything and the reason why you want to spot prime because on your repairs it'll leave a ring or outline of what you repair on the first coat and you're trying to seal it up you should be able to see it like here but it'll go away after the second coat you can see the repair area there.
about two hours everything turned out good I put two coats of primer high build primer and that one coat of epoxy primer so I should be good for sanding everything down right before paint should be able to get everything out I let this sit overnight. Then I pull the rest of the car in and start doing it. Stop.